Hello, this is Brian, and today we are doing the Beyond Labs Physical Science Calorimetry Lab. So, I've already uh, opened the lab up. Uh, this is Beyond Lab software. I clicked here, and that brings up the Welcome to the Virtual Physics Lab. And we are going over to the calorimetry box, and that will open up another part of the software. Now I'm opening the virtual stock room. To do that, I'm just putting my mouse pointer over here, double clicking, and we are now in what they call the stock room. And uh, we're grabbing the doer, that's this thing right here, basically a high-tech thermos. I'm just clicking and dragging it right down here to the shelf. Now I'm clicking the return to lab to get back to the lab where we started. Now I can grab this doer, click and drag, and it lands right there where we need it. Notice that as soon as I put the, uh, the doer here, uh, it automatically, the software automatically set up the rest of the equipment. So didn't have to do anything extra to do. This is the thermometer right here. You can see it uh, has uh, the name pop up as soon as I mouse over it. I'm clicking on that to open the thermometer display. That's what we've got over here. That is the thermometer display. Now I'm going to take a beaker out of the drawer and put some water in it. This is our beaker drawer right there. You can see I'm mousing over it, I'm clicking on it. And if you double click on one of those beakers, the beaker appears right there. Let's drag it over here. Okay, that's something like a quarter, like it says in your lab. Let's see if we can get more in there. Okay, that's more like a quarter. Your lab sheet now says to add two scoops of ice. So I'm going to click on the ice container. It comes up with a little scoop. I'm going to drag this scoop over to our beaker. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see. How do we get that there? Oh, there we have. We have to drag it down so it locks into place above. Okay, that's one scoop. And I'm dragging it down. Oh, there we go. Locked into place. There we go. Next, uh, your lab says to pour this stuff into the doer. I'm going to take the lid off here. Let's see. Maybe it won't let me take the lid off. Let's see. I'm going to drag this beaker over. Uh, it automatically lifts the lid for us. Okay. So, we are waiting for the temperature to stabilize. Notice up here, the thermometer reading. The zoom in. It's going down. Notice there's an accelerate button over here. This makes time go faster in the virtual lab. I think I'm going to click that. See if we can speed up this uh, process of measuring the iced water. It is going down. Okay, I did a little time lapse there while this thing was slowly descending. This will give us the freezing point of water. I have an ice water slurry. And we can see that it's nearly there at zero degrees Celsius. That, you should know, is the freezing point of water. I'll let you convert that to Fahrenheit. Waiting for that to stabilize there. There we go. So we are done with that. Next, we are going to determine the boiling point of water. And uh, so I'm going to take my doer, and as it says in your lab, I'm going to drag it over here to the red waste can. And it locks into place when I hover the mouse over the waste can. Well, let's say it's try that again. 
Okay, I'm just going to click on the red waste can. That seems to do the trick. No, oh, actually, we wanted to keep that door. Well, let's go grab a new one. I'll click over here to the stock room, grab another one that magically is there, leave the stock room. Okay, so we're back set up again. I'm going to refill, I'm going to fill the doors with water. Let's see this. That's not, that doesn't work. Okay, maybe we'll try to refill it a different way. Grab a beaker. And hold it under there till it locks into place. Okay. And pour it in there. Okay. That seems to be the way to get water into that doer. Uh, we're not adding ice this time. I'm going to click on the thermometer again to bring up this familiar thermometer zoom in window. And I'm going to click on the heat on our control panel here. That turns the heat on. I'm going to grab that little lever and stick it up to the maximum. I think I have to click this again on the control panel. That actually turns the heat on. We can see that now. It's uh, increasing rapidly over here. The temperature and the heat is on. I'm going to hit the accelerate button again because I'm impatient. I want it to heat fast. The heat is almost there. Oh, I see steam coming out of it. That's a good sign. We're waiting for the temperature to stabilize over here. So record the temperature when you do this, record it. I have 99.7. That's my experimentally determined boiling point for water. You know what it is in real life, centigrade scale, 100 degrees. So we're done with that. I'm going to click on the red waste can here to clear the lab out. And uh, for the next part of our lab, I'm going to click the beaker ah. drawer again. Drag a beaker over there. Actually, I'm going to put the beaker over closer to the scale. Let's see, does it get any closer? No, that's about as close as it gets. Now I'm going to click on the scale. See the mouse pointer changes into a hand as I hover over the scale. I'm going to click there to zoom in on it. We're going to weigh the beaker. First, always hit that tear button just to make sure it reads zero there. I'm going to click and drag this beaker onto the scale, and there we go. So Record that, about 95.6299, or you do it yourself on your lab, and you'll get your own figure there. I'm going to click the zoom out, and we're going to put 50 mils of water into that beaker. Now notice over here, for measuring accurately, we have some graduated cylinders. This one's 100 mil. You can see that as I mouse over it. This is our 50 mil grad cylinder. So I'm going to click and drag that under the sink. There it snaps into place. And it keeps filling, and there it goes. It snaps back. It returns it to its place once it is full of 50 milliliters of water. I'm going to click on the scale and uh, double click there to zoom in. Oh, there we go. So it looks like it's stabilized at 95.6299 or 6300, depending on when we look. Okay, zooming out. I'm going to grab this cylinder and drag it over here and hover it over the scale. Let's see, does that... No, well, that doesn't... It doesn't do it. We'll try something else. Let's uh, remove this beaker. And let's drag it over now, see if that works. Oh, there we go. When it got to the right spot, it locked into place, and uh, as soon as I let go of the mouse, it automatically poured in there. Now... I will grab this beaker and put it back on the scale. Come on, lock in there. Now it doesn't want to go in there, does it? I'm going to try something else. Let's zoom in on the scale, see if that helps. Let's drag this over here. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it snaps into place and it's there. And now look, we have a new weight. So that's the weight of the beaker with the 50 milliliters of water. So record that figure that you get. 
whatever weight you get for your water when you subtract the weight of the beaker. It should be about 50 uh, grams since uh, pure water is one gram per milliliter. So we are done with this part of the lab. You can hit the exit up here and that takes us back to the first screen.